Hi, welcome back to Divinity Original Cliffhangers 2. Oh shit. <laughs> Sabil, why didn't you tell me about that? The spirit of a hulking armored figure angrily thrashes at the surroundings with a ghostly warhammer, to no effect. Between swings, you glimpse his face. That of an orc. Dogs, skulking vermin, cowards. He hurls the warhammer away with a final yell before turning to you with a deep scowl, panting for breath that he no longer needs. God Woken, you're here. Did you kill the black ring runts who defiled Rogir's temple, who flooded this sacred temple rather than test me in battle? Say so you killed them all. Good. Heretics deserve only death. This temple was a fortress. My traps made it untouchable, unpassable. That weasel, that sad old man, he responded not with strength, but with soggy cowardice, and made me look the fool. Face me, you milk-livered mouse! Uh, ask about the orcs, what became of them? The world grew too civilized for us. No plunder, no glory, nothing to make our hearts quicken. My people left you to your cities and farms and soft beds. They went far in search of a place where they could be alive. But I am a knight of Verogia. I stand vigil. I do not know what became of them. All right, peace. I'm going to talk to this thing. <laughs> All right, just nothing. Yeah, Seville loves touching that shit, I know. Maybe Seville will leave now. Oh shit! Look out! I see a trap nearby. Oh fucking shit! This is for you. Red Prince, Knight of Boots, grants skill in rage, two-handed and strength. That's some nice boots. You want my old ones? Of course you do. Yeah, of course I do. Careful! I've spotted a trap. Why does Red Prince just walk into the fucking trap? <laughs> Okay. He likes the pain? He's fucking retarded. Oh my god, he stepped into- he found another one which I didn't even know was there. Alright, just go here. Fucking sleep it off. Alright. Anyone no bang? To waste. Ah! Oh wait, I have more shit to talk to her about. Um, say to Sabeel, uh, you've- you were touched as she trusted you with a song that controls your scar. Oh, honey, you should be. It was a trust not lightly given, I assure you. The mere recollection of this tune. It haunts me. Sometimes, in dreams, I hear it whistled, and I fear it's real. I fear I'll never wake up again because it holds me enthralled in the night. And when I think of what it made me do, it's enough to make me want to flay whoever sings it. She pats your shoulder awkwardly. <laughs> but darling, no need to tense up so. I'd never do that to you. Well, not unless you'd attempt to sing the song before we meet the master. But you're far too smart for any such shenanigans, aren't you? Of course you are. Now then, on a more serious note, how about a kiss? Oh, you thought you should, you'd never, she'd never ask. Come here. A kiss. A sweet, stolen moment. <laughs> See? I told you we should do this again sometime. Uh, say you wondered how it all actually worked, the master and the scar. And I remember saying I'd probably never tell you. Then again, why not? I suppose some stories were always meant to be told. So, here goes. No, hang on. She retrieves a small flask from her backpack, uncorks it, and takes a big swig. Tears stream from her eyes as she offers you the flask. They're tears of joy, I assure you. Here, have some joy. Except You drink. It burns. Soon the tears run down your cheeks as well. <laughs> Not bad, is it? So good it has us crying like babies. Now then, the epic of The Master and the Scar. Sounds like a melodramatic opera. There was, of course, some singing involved. It began when I woke in the dark room. He removed my blindfold, and still I did not see. He himself was darker than any shadow. But I could hear him. Hear him give orders to another. Stingtail. How he came to regret the actions he performed that day. 
The master bid the dream a dream, and so he did. He sat there. I could feel his hands upon my cheeks. He trembled, as if in pain. I didn't know what was going on until quite suddenly, his right hand became a flame. I screamed as he traced the design of the scar into my searing flesh, but I could not move, not an inch. And all the while, the master looked on in darkest silence. Shake your head and say you had no idea such horror came with her scarring. Oh, like all good things in life, one has to experience these things firsthand. So, once the scarring was over and the pain began to fade, the training began. With words, whistles, snaps of the fingers even, the master could make me obey his every command. Young, strong, smart. You know I don't exactly lack in qualities. It didn't take him long to train me in the arts of stealth, subterfuge, and assassination. It shakes me little now, all too little. But that first time, that first real kill? It was such stuff as nightmares are made on. I had now lived in the dark for what might as well have been years. I was in a wood, but the trees there were sick. Grey, leafless hydras sticking out of ashen earth. There were no stars that night. She sat, shivering beside a fire. I was nervous. I, I had to chase her. My hand hated itself, tried to resist, but there is no resisting the master's song. My stabs weren't as mercifully exact as they should have been. I had to bring down the needle again and again as her screams flooded the forest with terror. When it was done, I crawled back to the master, broken, crept back into the box, and through its cold black lid, he told me I had done well. Next time, I'd do better. The master in the scar tires an epic that deserves to be unwritten. <laughs> You understand me completely. With the needle, I'll kill him. And with the needle, I'll strike his name from my skin. The bastard will be master no longer. Uh, <laughs> ask if she'd make for a good goddess. The very best. She cocks her head ever so slightly and eyes you as innocently as a kitten. Why? Don't tell me you disagree. Uh... <laughs> Uh, smile and say you cert uh, you cert most certainly wouldn't. So be able to magnific magnificent. She'd be more popular than Lucian ever was. Thank you. I quite agree, and I'm sure I'll have mercy on you when I'm a goddess. You, but a mortal at my feet. In all seriousness, though, the prospect both tickles and terrifies me. I mean, divinity. Will it be a blessing or a burden? Would we be truly omnipotent, or merely the servants of an unruly universe, as desperate for control as we are now? And then there's the question that makes me shiver most of all. Would we still be ourselves? Would I remain Sibyl, or would my mortal soul die upon gaining divine immortality? I tell you, you've asked yourself the same question. All we can do is try and see. Take the plunge and don't look back, huh? As good a plan as any, I presume. She sighs and closes her eyes, then smiles her easy smile. Such a silly game we play, to be a god. It's quite wasted on mortals, if you ask me. We are all of us too blemished to become immaculate. And what should our next move be? I think you know the answer to that. First, I'll find the master. He has a date with a needle. Whatever comes after that, comes after that. All right, I didn't know that she had so much to tell me, but that means probably you have a fucking ton of shit to say with beast or whatever, or dwarf. No. <laughs> no. Are you gonna actually talk to him or what? No. Okay. Is there actually anything over here? What the fuck is the place? There's another sarcophagus here. I guess I'll talk to beast. Oh shit! Grasp of the starved. I already have that. Give that to FN decaying touch scroll. Give that to FN gold. I'll take that. Wait, I can. Unidentified. Stiffer there. Unidentified chest armor. Divine. Divine chest armor. 
Nice. It's actually really good, and it's for Seville, so Sucka and Seville can have that too. Giant Thunder Rune. Okay. That, that, that was some pretty good loot, I'd say. Alright, Seville. Obviously you want the Divine Chest, right? Of course you do, because it's actually way better than anything else you have. Large Flame Rune. Why does she look like Bane with her mask? Are you not into that? Apparently not. <laughs> hey man, she's the one who's GTF. I mean, I would love to kiss Bane, honestly. I mean, who wouldn't? Oh yes, excellent. Actually, nobody cared who I was until, I don't know. I'm done memeing forever. This is serious. I don't believe you. Oh wait, we can go down here? Oh hey. I don't know why I'd want to be down here. Yeah, I was there briefly as Beast. I was like, yeah, right, I'm here. What, what now? What are we going to do on the fucking pillar? Palm. <laughs> <laughs> right, get the fuck out of there. Let's get out of this place. Uh, I don't know. What the fuck? Oh, you already looted that. The fuck? Dude, what did you get from all the other ones? A cup and some gold. A cup and some gold. I hit the jackpot, man. All right, well. Yeah, I'm fucking out. Back to the beach. Thanks, thanks for the orcish cave or something. What the fuck is this place? Back to the pit. Alright, so we can go towards the Temple of Relic. That sounds pretty good. Let's go this way. Oh, dude! What? <laughs> Hang on a second. Have you seen this toy crossbow? I... I did not. I didn't use that. The fuck? How does that do so much damage? <laughs> a toy crossbow does that much damage. It sells for 1,000 gold. It's, gimme, gimme. It's toy. Yeah, it's like Sheik, it's just in this winter. Uh, fucking, I'm, there's a Thunderbolt grenade, I'm gonna pass that over to FM. Thunderbolt. I've never seen ruins like these. Oh, gold, nice. Why is everyone purged, the fuck? People need to stop being purged, it's a bad move. Ah, oh, there's that, the Shadow Prince. The fuck? Well, no, you'll, you'll go to the Shadow Realm. Yeah, I, I mean, dude, I'm the Red Prince. Maybe I should go talk to the Shadow Prince, uh, Shadow Prince, man. Yeah, there's some shit there, man. I want to go there, actually. Fuck, fuck off. I'm going. Come on, Seville, babe. You want to come, right? Hey, come on, babe. Uh, where's in Beast Bay? Seville's back. The fuck? Oh. No, you didn't do it right. Sorry, I, I, I fucked up. I, I kind of fucked up. Actually, there's people here to talk you to anyways. You fucked up? Actually, there, no, 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 wait. There's people to talk to anyways. That's, I actually intentionally did this. Oh, shit. No, no, Sido, don't go, don't go first. You, you, you don't persuade people like I do. A black ring captain stands before you. She looks remarkably ordinary, you think, as far as black ring go. But then you hear a voice inside your head. Tell me who you are, or I will kill you. And do not doubt me, for I tell the truth. <laughs> Wonder to yourself if she could read your mind. Imagine dancing with her drunk in the moonlight. Her expression does not change. She cannot read your mind, but you can read her face. And you see she grows impatient. Tell me who you are, or I will kill you. Uh, wordless aura. What the fuck does that do? So, um... Wordless does not speak today, and neither do you. They're black ring, so if I say I'm, I'm, I make the sign of a lone wolf, that might actually be a bad thing. Uh, well, I'll try it. The sign is good, so kill the divine pigs and kill the god woke and kill them all, and then perhaps you die and rise again. Uh... Keep your peace, not an acknowledgement, and turn away. Fuck. Okay, I guess we're good. He looks you in the eyes, <laughs> raises the palm of his hand towards you. Serpent-like coils writhe beneath Pussy. the skin. The skin blackens. Noxious black smoke pours from him into your mouth. Your tongue turns dry, then rough, almost scaly, and you feel your source unsettled, as if attracted to the man's black eyes. 
As the black smoke snake takes over your tongue, you feel yourself slipping away. You see a vision, an army of the undead risen to turn the world to a lifeless waste. At its head, a god king. Bite your tongue hard. You exhale what remains of the smoke snake and it drifts away on the breeze. Your mouth returns to normal and the alchemist hisses at you in disappointment. <laughs> nice. Normie! The fuck is wrong with these guys? An undead reaver lifts a clay goblet of wine and drinks deep. Only the wine trickles out through a hole in his side a moment later. He glances at you with a shrug. Force of habit. Life will taste good again once the God King's victory is sealed. Scold him for wasting perfectly good wine. <laughs> yeah, that's what I would do. Wine is wasted on the living. But life is wasted on the living. The God King will change all that. Note that he seems quite confident of success. I don't need confidence. I have faith. The God King restores the injured, resurrects the fallen. I lay dead and forgotten until he brought me back. He rewards the loyal. Ask who this God King is that he speaks of. The Reaver utters a dry cluck of disapproval from the desiccated remains of his throat. Mercenaries, you ought to think beyond the gold that's coming to you. The God King is the true king. The so-called seven gods betrayed him and cast him down. Now it's time for him to rise again. Oh, they've been through some shit. Jack of lasers with the dick. Yeah, there's dreamers here. Tormented Magister. The dreamer's eyes have rolled over white. His fingers twitch as you near. A cold presence suddenly seizes you. Your breath shortens, and a voice enters your mind, probing. Red Prince, the prey that my master seeks, God woken. Shoot back in anger thought, he's mistaken, he better get out of your head if he ever wants to wake up. The cold presence ebbs away. You take a deep breath. The voice offers parting words. Very well. Go, in service of the God King. Oh, so they almost saw who I was. The dreamer remains deep in his reverie. Uh, Serve the god king. His price is blood. His price is uh, chaos. Tear down this world and live in splendor in the world that follows. Nice. Uh, who are you? The dreamer's eyes do not see you. His mind is elsewhere, locked in a dark rapture as he torments the magister. The Magister cowers, oblivious to you. The Dreamer is twisting her own mind into a maze of her worst nightmares. Please, no! Death will become a thing of the past. Nice. Your enemies shall be nice. The Blind Priestess of the Ring. Ah, oh, there's one. We're gonna talk to the Blind Priestess. A Black Ring Priestess turns to you. Her astonishing beauty takes your breath away. Her gaze drifts past you, and you realize that she's blind. She breathes in, as if tasting the air, as if tasting you. <laughs> How tragic you think that she'll never see her own beauty. She produces a mirror of darkest black, holds it up as if to look upon her own magnificence, and then speaks as if to herself. I found God woken. She waits a moment. As if listening to her own reflection. It shall be done, O oh, sallow one. She closes the mirror, looks at you directly, almost as if she can see you, and then she smiles. A smile to melt the heart, a smile to drown in, a smile to send an army off to war. Are we gonna fight this? We might be fighting this. Let me just, uh. We are fighting just... this. <laughs> Hello. Uh. I mean, she is going to get wrecked, but, you know. <laughs> Hello, this is Sabeel. <laughs> nice to meet you. Hang on. <laughs> it's my turn, hang on, I'm powering up my attack. Uh, fuck. How oh, I hit her with everything? There you go. Oh no, she gets a turn. We lost. Although she has atrophy on her, so she 
can't do anything? <laughs> Stand there, torture. Oh no! <laughs> She's just not gonna take a turn, then we can't win! Uh, I mean, the game has something, right, that it does? Oh yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know what to do. He was just like, uh. I just doesn't know what to do. All right, Beast. You know what? It's time for you to have your your time in the sun. Don't enrage me! I swear to God! Oh my God! <laughs> uh, it was you who gave me the boots, so uh, you only have yourself to blame. My one damage skill is the bouncing shield, which I can't <laughs> use because you did that to me. I, I, you I, fucking shit stain! Look at that! I think you're good. I would have done more damage <laughs> if you didn't do that to me. I think that's the irony, honestly. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> you know what? I'm not, not even gonna try the blood. Just give me the fucking. No, just do it. <laughs> I am the Alpha and the Omega. Go fuck yourself. Uh, you know what? I guess I'll. Uh, haste, just in case. Got it. Fucking beast, so mad right now. Oh, dude, Black Mirror, nice. I'm gonna take that. That's literally all we got from this, though. All right. Uh, where do we want to go? Do we want to just fucking? I'm gonna go go to get the waypoint. That's the temple to Relic. So, um, yeah, we we uh, guys, don't go over there. She said she wanted to be left alone. Uh. <laughs> She said she didn't want to see you guys. Oh. oh, oh. I'm funny. I think. I'm just gonna wait until you get out of that, the camp, though. I don't wanna. I don't wanna touch it. I just wanted to get the waypoint, honestly. Okay, Temple of Relic. All right. Do you want to? Let's see here. Do you, let's go see what the Shadow Prince is all about. Cause I honestly, I'm kind of curious. Are you kind of curious? I'm kind of curious. Yeah, of course you are. I mean, we can just walk into there, fuck it. I was gonna, like, fly there, like, gracefully, like a fucking... I don't know. Like a majestic lizard eagle? What do you call a dragon with wings? Or a Yoshi with wings? <laughs> what do you call a dragon with wings? <laughs> Gee, I don't know, Mike, a dragon. <laughs> and this is why... That's some of the most sage shit you've ever asked, dude. And this is why you get paid the big bucks. Purging wand. Alright, this guy's kind of creepy, I'm not gonna lie. Sabio, tell me what your Elven Eyes see. Alright. Fuck, they don't have souls. Alright. Hey, what do you want? The God King sent ya. Did he send ya? Yeah, he he did. As ready, God King. They came out of nowhere and killed us all. As ready, rise me up. Rise me. Looks like he failed. You doubt you've earned the God King's favor. I serve. I serve the God King. Rise me up. Rise me up, God King. No, I will not. I'm gonna leave you, buddy. You suddenly hear something in the, the distance. Master? A strange but familiar tune. Uh oh. Sabeel freezes. You recognize it as a scar song. The master is near. A moment, years in the making. Soon, I will have my vengeance. She gives you a quick kiss on the cheek. Sing the song when I signal you, and wish me good luck. Oh, we need to do this. Hey, he's singing a creepy song. What the fuck? Yeah, I heard him like sing Sibyl's name. One step, then another, ever closer. You can tell from her bearing, Sibyl has never been so ready to kill, so on the brink of impending action. She's like a cat, all concentrated muscle, that split second before it pounces. Another step, ever closer. The moment has finally come. She's found the master. Dot dot dot. The eyes of predators meet. Sabeel. He snaps his fingers, and she involuntarily snaps to attention. Here you go, breaking my heart. That's the plan, mastermind. Hmm. Stand back, remain silent. He sighs, sadly. I don't begrudge you your freedom, Sabeel. Your escape relieved me of having to witness your death by your own hand. The inevitable last command. I would have watched you, 
like I have all this time. Glad to see you live, sometimes even laugh. I'm very fond of you, you know? The feeling's not quite mutual. Not yet. Another snap. Different fingers, different sound. She looks to the ground. She's... she's bowing before him. Utter control. The tool of a tyrant, you think? But you're mistaken. Let me indulge you with an explanation. Everything I do, I do for a much greater good. The supreme example of this is you, Sabeel. Demand to know why her? Why did, she, why did he do this to Sabeel? She's the prime scion. It had to be her. The other scions knew and welcomed her. They sought out their own killer. It was all so very elegant. What I did had to be done, Sabeel, and I had to be the orchestrator. For I am the House of Shadows. I am the Fate Weaver. I am the hand that guides a blind world. Even yours, Red Prince. Sabeel slowly draws her needle. Time to get to the point. My, my, you still have the needle I gave you. How very gratifying. A fine instrument, is it not? Precise, exact. Just like me. Just like you. You should know that I forced you to shed the blood of Scions because rather than a killer, it transformed you into a savior of untold millions. Here's the final truth, Sabeel. The true evil here is not me. It's you. The Mother Tree and her scions do not seek to carve out their own part of peace in this world. They seek to carve out the whole wide world for themselves. They want their roots to conquer every last inch of Rivalon. World domination. The prevalence of one race over all others. That is what they desire. That is what I counteract. You contemplate his words and come to a conclusion he's a lunatic. Finally figured that out, did you? But there is merit to my madness. Can you say the same of your mania? I don't begrudge you your freedom, Sabeel. But you came looking for me driven by no more than ordinary bloodlust. All you see is red. You've lost sight of all reason. You know how the scar works. You know I have but to sing a single tune. You've no hope whatsoever of defeating your master. Why does he sound like Palpatine? <laughs> all right. He sings. The scar song swells. A thousand tiny needles in Sabeel's soul, chipping away at her will. She looks at you with hope and defiance, gives the signal. You must sing the song. Mm. <clears throat> Tell him, Sabeel, is this is his if she wants her? Oh, wow, I can actually give her away because I'm Red Prince? No, no, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna do the, um, sing the song. Your voice harmonizes with the master's. Stunned, he hesitates, and yours becomes the dominant melody. Sabeel is free from his influence. Dear me, you're a miracle worker. I'll take it from here. The patient cat finally pounces. She strikes, precisely, exactly. Her needle pierces his neck, spears his vocal cords, filling his throat with blood. Checkmated and muted, he staggers back, all a feared fury. This is it. It's time to kill the master. Oh. He's silenced, though. And it, he looks easy, though. Alright. Hey, Ken. <laughs> Thanks for the me buff, you know. I, I mean, fuck. I, I thought she. I thought he was just dead. Honestly. Whatever. I'm not. I'm not gonna hit her with a, hit him with a lot of these arrows. Maybe I shouldn't do arrow spray. Or maybe move. Save up it to him. like. Save it to get close. To, okay. Yes. You mean like this? Stick him right in his mouth. <laughs> He's atrophied. And he's silenced, he can't do anything. What the fuck is that? Yo, what? Are you making friends there? How many friends Maybe. are here? A few, look at the turn order. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to see where they are, though. Oh, oh, they're, oh, they're invisible. They're invisible, I see. I see, I see. So I could try to defend myself, or I could just kill the master. I mean, he's mostly dead. You know, I'm gonna kill the master, because the beasts can defend me. Alright, so I think I'll get Farsight and Fusion, and then I'll do an Encourage. I, I have to say, I kind of I I like her story. It's pretty good. And I like how it kind of tied in with Yeah, I'm glad you got a story where Beast just like, yeah. I hate Justinia. <laughs> I mean, it's a pretty good story, I'd say. Be I mean, what, be what Twizzle said by? I mean, what the fuck is Efed's story? I use Death Fog, boo -hoo. I'm so sad. Yeah, and you could have had a fucking skeleton this whole time. I just want, I want, just want to mention that to you. You could have had a skeleton. The fuck my tendons. Spooky skeleton. Dude, your tendons, you need those to, you know... Let's be quick. <laughs> quick, eat the tendons. Uh, there, Shit. There's Beast all the way in the back. He's our he, he's our sniper. <laughs> Do you know it, dude? Don't make fun of Beast to kick your ass. Uh, what is he gonna do? Get over here with the pawn? Oh shit! See, am I in range for a uh, fuck? I am. Get shit on Ned. I got more armor than you. So what's this guy gonna do? Atrophy, silenced, a large finesse you potion. Drink? Oh, I thought you drink some wine. <laughs> no, those are ours. <laughs> That's our loot he's using. All right, Red Prince. Uh, should Sibyl get the last hit, or should fucking uh, we do something else here? I mean, the thing is, can you get to him? Because I mean, actually, probably all in him, right? Uh, I, I can, I can. No, I don't have to all in him. I can just hit him nor normally twice or onslaught him. Fucking onslaught his ass. I sense something nearby. I sense something nearby. The fuck? What kind of ability is that, Shadow Sniper? What's wrong Good with this old guy? tactical defense. <laughs> Glitter dust. You know, so I can't go to stealth. No, it also means you can't be, uh, you can't dodge anymore. Reveal yourself. The fuck. Okay, there are a lot here. What the fuck? All right. Also, the, the Shadow Prince now has a spirit. Yeah, I was gonna say. Right, I'm gonna bring that last alchemist down from the high ground when I get a chance. Uh, let's see here. Is there someone else we should focus, or...? So I hit this guy. This isn't gonna backfire in any way. If I'm taking poison damage, it shouldn't matter, right? Who knows? Eh, fuck Don't it. die. YOLO. I think it'd be alright for a turn, but it gives you a turn to go away. Maybe. I, usually it's wet that does it. Leave Efan alone. You did nothing wrong. Uh, I feel like I should delay. So I can get uh, my charge. Bitch. Fuck, only we can use that. My tendons, though. Alright, so... Uh, I could use some armor. First things first, power infusion. And still about this dickhead down. Um, are we to put this guy next to the sniper on the top of the stairs? I mean, do do it as you wish. Right, but you shame ping me afterwards though, I swear to god. I'll do it before. Good call. Uh haste? Eh. I, I mean, Sibyl could, use a, just... could use a heal, honestly, but I don't know. How much poison damage is she taking? I don't know, maybe I'll just, like, eat a potion or something. You know what, I should just heal. She's out of range. Well, there you go. Okay, well, problem solved. I will instead give my incarnate to walk so we can get around. So I, I wonder if this conflicts with the story, because I obviously went with Sibyl's story, but was he a part of mine? I don't think he was, because it didn't pop up that. No, it's just Sibyl. He just knew you. He was like, hey, you're a prince. It's cool. Yeah, like, like I literally, it was a dialogue option to give her up. <laughs> Holy shit. Part of me is curious of what it's would happen if he did that, but you know. I, I really want to see the conclusion of the Sibyl versus Shadow Prince or whatever the fuck. 
Alright. Don't hit me, bitch. Good, good. <laughs> you in range? Oh, they're in range. They have armor, though, but... Eh. It's okay. What's the worst that will happen? You get champing? <laughs> You've dealt with worse. No, nah, that wouldn't happen to me. So I'll, I'll do this instead. This is probably better. Critical hit. Yeah. You did nothing. I'm in range now, and I can give Sabiel some armor. Oh, sweet. Armor that. You know, that's what she needs right now. Fuck. Are you trying to hit hit Red Prince? Fuck. Do you, do you think Do you think I care? Nah, everyone's losing some. Everyone's missing. <laughs> hey, hey. I mean, I, I have cleanse wounds, but uh, nobody uh, nobody's close enough to me. No, I wouldn't worry about it. Like, I can handle healing when I get defense done. Buffing's from it done. Oh no, my te my tenders are still fucking chicken tendies. Yeah, my tendies are still ruptured. Oh no, good guy. The good thing is that the alchemist next to you can hit. Idiot. The fu what the fuck? <laughs> you got <laughs> the stealth guy. <laughs> you found him. Oh good. I intended that. Uh, fuck it. What do I do now? Uh, what do I do? Drink wine. Nah. Oh yeah, yeah. You're right, dude. This is this is a good moment, actually. You're right. Expensive wine. Holy shit! Did that <laughs> heal me? That healed me. Heals you for twenty percent. So Holy good. Shit. That was so, yeah, dude. That was that was the moment to bring it out. Let me just do a uh, bullhorn just in case they uh, hit me. <laughs> if there's ever time to drink, it's after killing a story character. Yeah, yeah. Dude, I, I told you I was saving it for a special occasion. Hello? Damn it. This is so much armor, it's oh, not fair. Oh fuck, Sabiel did get damaged by it. Alright, well maybe I'll first aid myself and... Cause that, that does cure... I mean, you wouldn't have skipped turn anyway, would you? I actually might have, like, no, delayed. No, I, I would've delayed. I would've delayed. But I can't do that anymore. Uh, all right, time to. Guess I'll just hit these guys on the ground because one of them at least will die. Okay, apparently that didn't ricochet. No, it did. Oh, it did? Okay. I mean, I could kill him right now. But... It just didn't ricochet a third time, I guess. Uh. Uh, let me maybe help you with the guys right next to you. Yeah, you see that? He's Thanks. Dead. Except, uh, maybe I could have actually killed him, but I don't think it seems to matter. Oh, he wants to heal. Well, I just healed myself from poison. No, why? Alright, I can... You can just finish him off. I don't care. I mean, actually, that makes sense, because, you know what, any damage you take does knock you out of, um... Knock you out of it. So I probably I should have healed her first, and then I should have done that. All right, this person goes next, but not much I can do about that. Uh, I was thinking of actually getting some high ground, maybe. I mean, it's up to you. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do this. There's the fuck this fucking guy. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Hello. Hello, nurse. So I can get some high ground damage on this guy. I think I will. Splat him. Yeah. Seems like a thousand. Alright, am I safe here? I don't think I am. Hmm. Healing, healing. I can do a healing ritual. Which probably won't work that well, honestly. So I can. I can do a nether swap, actually. Who would you nether swap, though? Uh, this shithead sniper next to my incarnate with Ethan. And then I can heal Sabeel. Okay, I mean, whatever. I mean, she's at full health, though. Give magic armor, though. Okay, fine. I can't talk it myself? Why am I... In oh, because I'm fortified. Motherfucker! Alright. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Got to far, man. Alright, standard blood dude. I guess I'll give... Red Prince some armor. I mean, sure. Just why not? And I'll also haste Red Prince, I guess. Oh, yeah. yeah. Take Cause it. you're drunk, you know. You, you die your... Level beyond. Oh, the, the, the blood tower knew what was good. Yeah, <laughs> this guy's playing defensively. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's not gonna fucking... <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, that's... You know what? Yeah, what the fuck, what, actually? Motherfucker? Yeah, oh, dude, I said, buddy, wanna walk into that? Yeah. Just do it. Do it, no, I want to pull horns first. But you know what? He uh, did, will I'm gonna he, lose the action point. Will, will he but knock himself out? I wanna find out if he'll reveal himself. Yeah, will he, do, will he reveal himself? Alright, you gotta go a Hello? bit closer. Hello? Hello? This was where his thing was. Oh. Okay. Is anyone here? Yeah, I guess. What he... if I blow the fuck up? Nah, no, no, I just hurt myself. I'm a fool. All right, that's, that's enough of wasting beasts' turn. But it's good for science, you know. <laughs> and guess what? Okay. In the exact same Wait. fucking place, and it went back on. <laughs> what? It went back on. I don't fucking know anymore, dude. What I missed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. Ow. He found the angle. I like that music up place. Well, there's one guy left. I'll well, just adrenaline. I don't think I'm going to be able to kill him, though. Oh, I also can't see him, so... I also have no arrow oh. spray, so I'll just come down beside him and barrage him. <laughs> At least we can knock him down or something. <clears throat> well, slight problem. What? I'm up here now. Well, I mean... Delay. Because I can, I can move uh, Red Prince, sorry, uh, Ifan over. I mean, you could, you could swap, like, Beast in him or something, I don't know. Do whatever you want. The thing is, I can with um with my con, I can swap with my master, so I can swap with Efan. Okay, I mean. So basically, I'm gonna do it like this. Uh, but you're fortified. It'll work. No, it won't. Actually, wait. I remember trying this. You're right. It didn't work. <laughs> Litter does the deal. The fuck? Haven't you been through enough? Oh, dude, the armor paid off. Alright, calm down, shithead. Get on the ground. Alright, we're good. Glory is mine. Uh, I got oh, you better to. kill him. I'm not gonna be able to, actually. Oh, man. Glory is mine. <laughs> you shot come at him. Alright, let's see what he has to say. Red. At last we meet, or rather, meet with your awareness of my presence. How often I've stood by you but an arm's length away, a shadow within the shadows. Untouchable, almost like meeting an old friend, or in the present circumstances, a kindred spirit. Even in death, his eyes are black holes in a black skin sky. He bows with the deference of a noble among nobles, swinging ever so playfully between sincerity and sarcasm. I suppose I should start with an apology for the attempts on your life. Talk about getting off on the wrong foot, wouldn't you say? <laughs> Wave away the apology. You're, all, you're interested is the reason, uh, all you're interested in are the reasons for his actions. How very magnanimous of you. You may find this hard to believe, but given different circumstances, I would have been quite content to let you live. Let you play the Emperor from your golden throne in your golden city. Alas, certain events beyond even my control were set in motion. Ripples became waves. I had to act. And so I arranged for you to meet with an unfortunate, self-inflicted end. Tell me, your majesty, do you know what it takes to force a succubus into submission? Uh... Nod, you know now. Yes, so you do. Must have been quite the display of source. Very impressive. 
It's almost a pity we found ourselves on such opposite sides. All because of who you are, and all because of who she is. It was Sadha who set events in motion, Red Prince. If you were the ripple, she was the wave. She's a tidal wave that will take wing, become a murder of dragons, red as the setting sun, that will alight every corner of this world with the terrible splendor of fire. So you met with her, even lay with her, and she didn't actually mention dragons? Then she has her prize, whereas you were kept in the dark, ignorant of the fateful prophecy. The simple truth of the matter is that, yes, we lizards were dragons once. The mightiest creatures to rule sky, earth, and sea. But such was the jealousy of our power that all other races united against us and brought us to the brink of extinction. No one knows what happened next. Was it wizardry? Was it Zol Stissa who took mercy on us even then? Suddenly, we were dragons no more. Lizards instead. And as lizards, we flourished and built an empire once more. But the House of Dreams trades in prophecy. They've always known we could be dragons again. For one day, a man and a woman will be born, and their skin will be red. And the fruit of their union will be great red dragons. Uh, so he tried to kill you because history might repeat itself? As dragons, you could rule the world. Yes. In a brief moment of supremacy. Followed by annihilation. Listen to me. I was the House of Shadows. This was my role. I saw the great games in motion, allowed them their flux when they advanced for good, cut them short when they advanced for evil. Even if it meant doing evil. The renaissance of dragons would spell the end of our race, plain and simple. To that end I needed you to die, but you proved to be all too worthy an opponent. An opponent I would even now see an ally. Ally with me, Red Prince. Find Sadha and kill her. If she births dragons, all other races will unite against us, and this time they will destroy us for good. We were spared last time. The condition of our continued existence was that we'd never let the dragon roar again. You look each other in the eyes, like two chess players contemplating their next move. What will yours be? <laughs> but I love Sabeel. What's, what's this? <laughs> you could consume him. Fuck. Um, you, the bastard wants to kill the woman you love, but he could help you find her. Faint, faint agreement. Say you'll kill her. Still, your eyes meet, scanning for hidden layers of deceit. I cannot be certain you speak true, but I've no choice. I must put the fate of all lizards in your hands, but beware. Sadha is ultimately dangerous. Not only will she be the mother of dragons, I fear she's fallen in with an old enemy. Them. He points to the fallen black ring. Uh, but why, why would Seda join forces with the black ring? I'm sure I don't know. But if I'm correct and her heart has been darkened by the ring, you may be able to find her through their scrying magic. There's a thing on this island known as the Sallow Man. He is a master of mirrors. Mirrors like his will read your mind and show you what you desire, if you manage to elude or eliminate him. All right, we'll uh, pay him a visit. A word of warning. He is like a shred of nightmare ripped from the dream realm, set loose in reality. Do not underestimate this creature. Be careful, and become the savior of all lizards, Red Prince. Become the true emperor of your people. Alright, let's let Sibyl talk to him too. <laughs> 
The Shadow Prince's spirit snarls at you, claws at you, but his spectral nails move harmlessly through your body. So should I fucking eat his source? Nah. Must. Eh, yeah, fine. Need to eat all this stuff though. You know, I, I just wanna I just wanna mention something. You took oh. you took the two worst fucking characters for storylines. You know, fucking. Hey, man. Fucking be like, fucking some fucking queen is a fucking piece of shit, and Ethan's like, boo hoo, I had to use Death Fog on some fucker who. Meanwhile, like the Red Prince is like trying to like, you know, fucking deal with like f motherfucking dragons and shit like that, and and Sabeel just you fucking. You mean fucking the mother of dragons? Yeah, 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 and yeah, yeah, and fucking. Uh, like and, yeah, exactly. And, <laughs> and then Sabeel like just killed the person that you know. Fucking mind controlled her to kill, and she's like a scion and shit like that, and just fucking cool and shit. You and might like this and get this from Sabiel. I don't want to use death fog on people, boo -hoo. What is this fucking person that's fucking mean and talking to people? What? What's up? I'm done. Gave I'm, you some shit. I'm done walking your choices now. Alright. You gave me a smoke grenade. Oh, thank you. Oh, I'll just pass that. I'm a mystical rune frame. The, the Heart of the Shadow Prince, nice. I also have a black mirror here. Alright, is that it? Oh, you also gave Sabiel shit. A bunch of magical items and a ring. It sure he has Turbulent Cloak, although everything else is really good on there. And also means you would have less memory slots. Like, what, you know what I mean? What? I mean, I guess so, but it's whatever. Because, like, yeah. Yeah, whatever. Uh, this Ring of Fulfillment, Scoundrel, Arrow Surge, and HP. I'll just give that to FN. I think you'll want it. Uh, some pants for strength. Um, I'll pass it to Red Prince because it might be. I don't know what the hell it is. And a wand. FN. And panties. Oh, of course. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for the panties. Oh, no problem. It's always a pleasure, never a chore. I help anytime. Where was the pants I, I had? Did I just. Oh, I did, yeah, that's. I gave it to the. Okay, I will give you the first shot at these pants, because as I said before, and if Be Beast doesn't want them, give them to me, because I'm going to put them on. Oh, they do have better constitution. Well, they have constitution, which is nice, but I'm more physical armor, so no, they can go to you. Okay. Amazing. Equip. All right. We are good, then. Is that it? I think that's it, because... I think that's it. Long as shit. I don't want to use death fog on people. Why are you going to be that way? <laughs> you have to admit, your characters are kind of shitty. And also, why are you over-encumbered? I'm trying to figure that out myself. <laughs> I gave you, like, two things. Alright, Ken will figure that out. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye-bye! Death fog!